Sam wakes up in bed to find messages from her buddies on her smartphone and a paper chicken on her mattress left by her sister. After having breakfast and being rude to her parents, Sam gets ready to go to school whilst her younger sister Izzy tells her she forgot her gloves, however Sam complains about Izzy touching her stuff. Sam is picked up by her buddy Lindsay, and then they visit Get Ally and Elodie. The girls know Sam is planning to have her first time with her popular boyfriend tonight, so Elodie gives Sam protection while they all tease her. Later at school, Mr. Daimler starts the class with a very bad joke, and he's interrupted by several girls that come in with roses to deliver for Cupid's Day, causing Anna to complain that she is in heteronormative hell. Sam gets a regular rose from her boyfriend with a message that diminishes her need to be more open about emotions but she's also surprised to get a second flower with a poem that claims to know the real Sam. After class, Kent approaches Sam and asks her if she liked the rose he got her. He then tells her that he's having a party and asks her if she's coming but Sam turns the invitation down. Later during lunch, Sam's boyfriend Rob stops by to kiss Sam and promise her an excellent night. The girls then start to gossip and talk badly of people, like making fun of Anna's breakup with her girlfriend. When Juliet walks by, they also make fun of her for being a loner girl who others assume is crazy based on how she looks in her drawing. Then it's revealed the girls sent her a rose with a meme card as a prank. When Sam finds out that everyone is going to Kent's party, she decides to go too so the girls get together to prepare for the party and Lindsay gives Sam advice about her first time. At the party, Kent tries to get Sam's attention, but she ignores him. She's distracted and ends up accidentally bumping into Rob, who is already drunk and pretty hand. Sam is put off by his attitude and rejoins her friend. The girls dance and have fun, and as the night goes on, Juliet shows up. Lindsay goes to make fun of her and Juliet lashes back at her insulting her and calling the whole group out for their attitude. She says it's no wonder Lindsay's parents got divorced, causing Lindsay to insult her a lot and tell her to go home. Juliet tries to fight Lindsay, but a guy pulls her back and Lindsay throws a beer at her, insulting her more. Soon everyone at the party including Sam throws beer at her and insults her too, so Juliet runs away in tears. When Kent comes to ask what's wrong, he's disgusted to learn what happened and that Sam was a part of it. He also tells her that Rob is throwing up in the kitchen. Upset by the whole situation, the girls agree to leave. While they are driving home, they feel rather awk but they soon distract themselves with some music. Sam checks her phone to see it's 12.39 and suddenly, the car hits something on the road and ends up crashing against a truck. Everything goes black and moments later, Sam wakes up in her room, staring around in disbelief. Her phone has the same date and the same messages, and when Izzy comes in to wake her, Sam says it's Saturday, which makes Izzy laugh. Since Sam is taking so long, Lindsay comes inside to check on her, and when Sam asks her what happened last night, Lindsay talks about Thursday, which confirms for Sam that the day has started over. A freaked out Sam continues through her day, noticing that all things are exactly the same, her friends teasing her in the car and giving her protect, Daimler starting the class with a bad joke, Anna complaining about the flowers, and the delivery girl bringing Sam to Rose. Sam refuses to take Kent's and when he follows her later in the hallway, she can guess everything he'll say and turns him down. When the girls are getting ready for the party, Sam expresses her worries about feeling freaked out, but her friends tell her to relax and have fun. At the party, everything happens the same way as well. Kent tries to get her attention, and Rob is drunk and rude. Freaking out again, Sam runs to hide in a room and finds Kent's scrap board. Before she can take a closer look, Kent finds her so she quickly goes away. Back at the party, Juliet arrives and the same fight happens, but this time Sam doesn't join the insult. The girls leave in the car and Sam notices the time, so she asks Lindsay to watch out for the truck, but Lindsay doesn't see any truck. The car runs over something again and once mere, this sends them crashing against the truck that suddenly appeared. Once again, Sam wakes up to her alarm in her bed. When Izzy comes in to wake her up, Sam says she isn't feeling too well. Her mom comes in to check on her not crossing the line Sam drew on the floor, and accepts to let her stay in bed a little longer as long as she can take her to school late. When they arrive at school, the mom says Sam should feel lucky that she's popular because she wasn't back in the day, but Sam says she thinks her mom is beautiful. Later during lunch, Sam admits to the other girls that she and Rob are having issues. When Juliet walks by, Sam asks why they hate her, but Lindsay just says that she's a freak. When the girls say they want to go to the park, Sam convinces them to have a sleepover instead, thinking that this will stop the loop. The girls agree and Lindsay texts Rob that Sam can't go because of her monthly bleeding. Afterward Kent comes to give her the flower and invites her to the party, and Sam turns him down more politely this time. The girls have a lot of fun in the sleepover, 
and as the night goes on, Sam keeps her eyes on the time. When it changes to 12.40 and nothing happens, Sam is very relieved and tells her friends that she loves them, which the others laugh off. The girls go to sleep but a moment later, they are awoken by a bunch of text messages and are shocked to learn that Juliet has self-deleted. The girls don't know what to feel since their mockery could have been part of the cause, but Lindsay is angry at the implication, causing Allie to remind her she used to be friends with Juliet before she and Alati leave to sleep in another room. Sam asks Lindsay about this revelation, but Lindsay doesn't want to talk about it. The next morning, Sam wakes up to see she's repeating the same day again and becomes frustrated because she did things correctly yet someone died anyway. She begins living the same day over and over again with her always waking up in the same place. But no matter what she does, nothing changed. Sam realizes that if nothing she does really matters, then she shall go all out. She starts by dressing more revealing than usual, and when her mother calls her out on it, she just tells the whole family off before leaving. On the way to school, when Alati tries to hand Sam the protection, she snaps at her. Her friends call her out on her attitude, but Sam yells at them and calls them out for all the things they say behind each other's back. This makes Lindsay kick Sam out of the car. After walking all the way to school, Sam keeps on behaving different. She throws the roses in the trash and flirts with Daimler, who doesn't fall for it. When she returns to her seat, she gets a note from Sam saying, This isn't you, but she destroys it. After class, Sam is ignored by her friend group then sees Juliet alone doing her dark art. Remembering the party and feeling guilt, Sam rushes to hide in the bathroom. There she comes across Anna, who teases her for her new out. The two talk and end up bonding to the point they exchange shoes. Anna concludes that high school is just a blip on the radar, and when Sam asks if she feels like she's reliving the same day over and over again, Anna replies that is her life. Later Sam walks to Kent's party and is met by Alati. She asks her to apologize, saying the group should get along because her friends are all she has. Sam approaches Lindsay but instead of apologize, she again calls her out for being mean and dishonest, saying she's now the one paying for it. At that moment Juliet arrives, so Sam avoids the situation by finding Rob and finally dragging him away to have their first time while they hear the fight coming from the other room. Rob tells Sam, I love you, just because that's what she wants to hear, and after they're done, Sam is too upset by the whole situation. She runs to cry in a random room where Kent finds her and tries to comfort her. He takes her over to his bed and holds her hand as they share a moment. When his phone goes off, Sam tells him not to answer because it'll be something bad. She also asks Kent to stay with her until she falls asleep. The next day, Sam realizes that not caring only made everything worse, so instead she decides to make her day worthy. She spends the day in the woods with Izzy to bond more giving her sister some advice and revealing that Lindsay used to make fun of her when they were children. That night, the whole family has a very enjoyable dinner at a restaurant. Sam wonders if she's a good person, and her mother says she is. Then Sam decides to go to Kent's party and enters his room, where she finds a picture from when they were kids. Kent soon finds her and they reminisce over the time Sam got hurt pretending to be a flying squirrel and the time Sam stood up for him after his dad died. He explains that's when she became his hero and then the two share a kiss. At that moment they hear a commotion and Sam realizes it's Juliet and Lind so she runs out to try to stop the fight. Unfortunately it's too late and Juliet leaves in tears once again. Sam chases after her through the woods, and they don't stop until they reach the edge of the road. Juliet lashes out at Sam saying how horrible she and the others were and how she and Lindsay used to be friends. She explains how she would stay with Lindsay during her parents' divorce, and that it got so bad for her that Lindsay started wetting the bed. When they were kids during a class camping trip, Lindsay blamed Juliet for wetting her sleeping bag, and since then she's been seen as the weirdo. At that moment they hear Lindsay's oncoming car and Juliet runs to the road. Sam watches in horror and realizes that Juliet is who they hit the first time. Now that she's learned this, Sam knows what to do during the following loop. The next morning, Sam is polite to her parents and thanks her sister for getting her glove. She also hugs them all and tells them she loves them. During the car ride she behaves as usual, but later at school, she tells the other girls why she loves each of them. Then she goes to buy two rose delivery, sending one to Juliet with a note that it's never too late and one to Kent saying that he's her hero. During class, she compliments Anna on her boots, and in the hallway she's happy to accept Kent's invitation. At lunch, Sam breaks up with Rob and tells her friends that he doesn't deserve her. When Juliet walks by, Sam doesn't let the others make fun of her. Later at the party, Sam hugs Lindsay and tells her she doesn't need to act tough all the time. Then she finds Kent and kisses him again saying she loves him. At that moment Juliet arrives but Sam stops her from entering the house, saying that she knows what she's planning on doing. Then Sam admits to how horrible she's been and Juliet runs off. Sam tries to run after her, and when Kent stops her, 
Sam kisses him and asks him to trust her before going after Juliet. After lots of running through the woods, Sam catches up to Juliet to try to talk her out of her bleak decision. Juliet is still determined to self-delete, so when she is about to jump, Sam pushes her out of the way and gets hit by the truck instead. Sam's body lays lifeless on the road as her soul sees all the best moments of her life pass through her eyes. Juliet rushes to the body and fails to wake it up, so she's devastated to say Sam saved her but Sam's watching soul says Juliet was the one who saved Sam instead. Thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe for more videos.